Hello and welcome to another episode of my beginner's guide to Todoist and today we are looking at all the things you can do with Todoist flags. Now Todoist give you four flags and that can be quite confusing and I want to show you some of the best ways you can get, use flags in order to be able to get the most out of Todoist. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's go into my demo demo account now and let's do everything we can with flags. Okay, so what we're going to do with our flags is to show you how you can use flags inside your today view. Now, in today's view, you have a number of tasks. Now, you can actually move them around like this and you can organize them by priority this way. However, one of the great things about Todoist is we have this flagging system. So we can use flags to be able to decide how important or not something is. So let's start with arranged car to go in for a service. Now what you'll see is down here, I've got P4. P4 relates to the basically no flag if you like. But if I click on that, I get priority one, priority two, priority three, and priority four. Currently, and by default, all tasks are set at priority four. You have to make a decision about how important something is. Now to arrange my car to go in for a service, perhaps I've, I don't need to rush this. And so it's not a huge priority today, but it's something I would like to do today. So I'm gonna leave that, or I would leave that as priority four. <clears throat> Send Claire Jeff's details. Now imagine that this is actually something important. Claire has asked me for it earlier this week. It's now the end of the week and I have not done it yet. This has now become a very important task. So I'm going to make that priority one. What you'll notice when I did that, if you look in this area here up at the checkbox, you'll notice it's turned red. If I'd made that priority two, it would be turning orange. If I'd made it priority three, it would turn blue. And if, there's, if it's a priority four or basically no flag, it would be white. But this is a very important task. So I'm going to make that priority one and that's now set. <clears throat> what you'll notice is that has now risen to the top because your today view will always go by priority. So the highest priority will be at the top. The lowest priority will be at the bottom. There is one caveat I should mention there. If you actually set a time for something, so let's just say with this one, let me just go in here and I'll show you what I mean. So let's just say that we set a time on this. So I'm gonna add a time. I'm gonna make this at, uh, there. let's make that 1400 and I'm adding the time. Okay, so that's now done. No, it's not because I didn't hit save. Sorry, at the time, we've got to do, so again, I'm going to type in 1400. I'm going to add and then save. What you'll see is that that has now gone to the top. So a timed task will always go above a priority task. That's the only exception. So I'm just going to go back in there. We're going to remove the time because I actually never use times. So I'm going to save that and that's now done. And you'll see that that has now dropped back down my list. So let's go in to talk to Andrea about Jessica's birthday party. That's something that I do need to do today, but I can't do it till later in the day. I tend to give things that for later in the day that are important a priority three. So that's now gone in as blue. As you see, it's risen to the top. Uh, subscribe to the Working With podcast. Of course, that's a very important task to do. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you another way of doing this. You don't have to open the task. I can just type P. And I'm going to call that P2 and you'll see that it changes and the flag down here has also changed. So now I have P2 and then research local personal trainers. Again, that might be something that I think, you know what, that is actually important. I do need to do that today. So I'm going to make that P2. I'm going to save. And now you'll see that the order of my tasks 
have actually changed now because the priority task is at the top followed by the next priority followed by the next priority and as I say there's two ways of adding flags you can add flags by just typing the a, a P and then whatever flag you want to do it will change the flag or uh, you can go into the task itself and you can do it sort of manually right here by just clicking on the task that you want so that's one way of those are the ways of adding flags to your task and why you might want to do that as I say this is really up to you whether you want to sort of use flags for denoting between work and personal so you could use uh, blue flags for your personal life p2 and red flags for your work life p1 or in my case i tend to use flags by red flag are tasks that absolutely must be done today orange flags are tasks i would like to do in the morning and blue tasks are tasks i'd like to do in the afternoon white flags are for everything else now one more thing now i am going to cover this part here in a separate video but something that i always do when in my today view is because i do use flags i'm going to hit view and i'm going to change the sort to group by priority and what happens is to do is now separates things out p1 p2 p3 and p4 this for me is just a wonderful way of seeing your task because I can now just focus on this area here or I can focus on my priority twos but you know I can actually just go straight down. To change that by the way uh, and I'm going to say I'm going to do a video on custom sorting all you need to do is hit the cross button there and it all goes back to normal. Now one more thing before we finish this on flags what I should do is if you are looking for a, all your important tasks you can go into your search and type P1 um, at, sorry you can type priority uh, priority actually you should be able to do P1 and hit return and yes that's what it's all right so you type P1 and hit return and it will bring up your uh, priority ones you can go into here and type p2 and it will show you all your p2 tasks so you can use search to actually find the tasks that you want but the one that you're more likely to use is p1 um, hit return and it's going to show you all your priority one tasks so there you go so that's it that's all you need to know about flags they are really really useful particularly when we start to use filters which we will cover in a future episode because filters are a great way of getting to do is to show you what you want to see when you want to see it so there you go thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work and that's what the time sector system is all about it's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when when you are going to do the task and let's be honest it doesn't matter how motivated inspired or how urgent something is if you don't have time to do it it is never going to get done and that's what this system is built around getting your work done so you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do i hope you join me in this course the full details of the course are in the show notes below so please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video